Hello artists and musicians. Today I want to talk about the concept of being a professional. You know, whether you're an athlete, whether you're an actor, painter, in our case musicians, what does it mean to be a professional? Because to be a professional, there's a certain kind of caliber of skill and mindset you need to have. And um, today we're going to transform you into being a professional. The first thing that I'm thinking of is being able to take responsibility. You know, let's say you've had a bad experience from before or a failure you've had recently. Instead of blaming external forces or people, it's kind of having the mindset of, okay, what is it that I've done that could have prevented the situation? What was it that I didn't learn that I should have to make this um, uh, goal work, you know? When you start taking responsibility, there's a certain kind of leverage that you then have, which is really powerful and which is something that I have personally. Even if it's not my fault, I'll still say it's my fault. Forgive me. And um, it's just, I think it's healthier that way, you know. And um, that goes up into your own personal life as well with people, with people in circumstances. Having the ability to take responsibility is a professional mindset. The second thing that makes a professional a professional is the ability to execute. And what I mean by that is not just overthink things. When the situation arises where you need to do something, you execute, you take action. Let's say if I'm in a studio and we're stuck, the professional will say, okay, let's do this. Let's record this idea, bang, 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 bang. We don't waste time, they execute. They don't overthink, they don't delay, they don't procrastinate, they execute. If you think of a Kobe Bryant, who's a professional basketball player, if there's a one second left on the clock, he's not going to overthink. He's going to execute. He's either he's going to pass it or he's going to shoot it. He doesn't just stand there, you know. You miss the, you miss one hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Another thing is, ninety percent of success is just showing up, you know, being on time, being earlier than on time, you know. I remember a really bad experience I had before with this. Um, with this musician who we were rehearsing this song for this same exact song for hours and he he started getting he started getting really pissed off and said you know we don't need to we don't need to practice this song this much we're gonna burn ourselves out you know and really really pissed me off at the time because at the end of the day you are rewarded in public what you do in private and um, when he said that I felt kind of disrespected you know so be on time, be professional, and and show up. When the situation is there, show up. Don't waste anyone's time. Show up and be there. Be in the fucking moment. Another thing is, in any situation you're in, know your role and act as if you are that role. And that means if you're an artist, know the ins and outs. If you're a producer, put your ego to the side, know the ins and outs of the situation, you know? Don't try to over control things, over complicate things. Know your role and act your role. And the final thing about being a professional is the ability to make everyone else look good and better. That's really, I think, the secret there is when you go into when you go into a situation, it's not about you, it's about the other person and making sure that you make them look good or you benefit them or you make them uh, earn money or a fan base, whatever it is, you know. Um, if you're a performer, when you're performing, it's not about you, it's about you um, making people feel something, you know. So as a professional, it's about you making everyone else better and making them have a good experience, a good time. And uh, that's my advice for today, ladies and gents. This is Jonathan Milanos of Sound Price. Please like the video, subscribe, and leave your comments down below. Till next time, peace and love, always.